Well, I'm back here at the thrift store and I need a ball of yarn that I don't have and I want to see if they have it here but I'm going to also need pantyhose and I'll explain that in just a moment. So I know that it's probably not going to smell the way that I want it to so I'm going to have to take care of that when I get home. So I was able to find what I needed. I got some pantyhose and I got some yarn and we're going to take that home and figure out what to do next. So I'm here at home and you can't open it. Well, you probably could have, but um, I don't know what this is going to smell like. Mmm, nothing like the smell of somebody's basement. <laughs> so what I want to do is that I want to just obviously remove it out and I'm going to slide off the ball labels and I'll keep those for later. You don't want to wash those, of course, and we'll be doing that next. Next thing I want to do is that I want to shove my ball without the label inside one of the legs of the pantyhose. Now you can leave me a comment if there's an easier way to stuff yarn all the way into pantyhose. <laughs> it's not something I'm used to doing. I know, big surprise. <laughs> so I am stuffing it in the pantyhose because if I put it in the washer machine without it being wrapped in something, the yarn is going to fly everywhere. So. You could probably share the same leg if you have more than two balls. I guess you never thought you'd see a guy fisting pantyhose. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to swing my... <laughs> Don't try this at home, folks. Train professional idiot. Okay, so let's go to the washing machine next. Okay. So I'm going to turn on my wash machine, throw it in, put some soap, and I'm going to set this to delicate. Um, tap cold water, light, low, and good to go. So I'm going to let that wash, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's take it out. And the yarn is still intact just like you see here, like potatoes, which is great. And because I know it's machine washable and dryable, I'm gonna to toss it into the dryer now. So I'm just gonna to toss it in. Now my uh, dryer senses when things are dry. So I'm just gonna set it to regular mode and just let it go and see what happens. Okay, so now that I feel like Medea, <laughs> um, the yarn has just come out of the dryer. It feels dry to the touch, and now we're just going to take it out of the pantyhose. Didn't really take long to dry. I think it was on maybe about 15 minutes, so it was set to 31 minutes as a default, but as I mentioned, my machine detects that. So just reaching on in, and I'm just pulling out my yarn. And, I, and because I don't wear pantyhose, I know that's a shock, um, I can save these in my laundry room for another day. Okay, so I was pulling that on with the tip. So the tip coming out. So it smells like my house, it looks intact. And so it has not unwound at all. And I just want to really kind of just feel around And it does feel a little bit moist, but like nothing crazy. I'm gonna stick my finger in the hole. No, it seems like it feels good. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna put this in a box or anything. I'm just gonna leave it out on a surface and let it completely just like evaporate the moisture out of this ball. Hmm, smells nice and now I'm ready to use it. I know, not bad, eh? Cheap yarn, smells great. <laughs> 